Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will understand different application states in Flutter. So if you are an Android developer, you may have written activity callback methods like on pause, on resume, etc. And in iOS, we have did finish launching with options, did become active and similar callback methods, all of which are callbacks for the application states. So let's see how we can do the same thing in Flutter. And for that, Flutter uses a class called uh, let me write it so with widget binding observer so you need to bind this observer first so let me overwrite the init state method and call widget uh, binding dot instance dot add observer so this this class is observer so pass this and if you have added an observer don't forget to remove it so on this pause we'll call widgets dot widgets binding dot instance dot remove observer this so the widgets binding observer has an overridden method so let's write the method to get the application state so the method name is did change app lifecycle state. So that will provide us with the application lifecycle state. So let me write a switch statement and pass in the state. And let's check what are the states available. So the first one is the application inactive. You can see four states there: inactive, paused, resumed, and suspending. So the first one is inactive. So let me print. Uh, let me print something there. So app inactive. Let me copy that. So the second one is paused. So change the print to app paused. The third one is resumed. So application state lifecycle state dot resumed. And the fourth one is suspending. So let's see how uh, these events are triggered. So I'm going to restart the application. Okay. So let me. Bring the application to the background. Okay, let's see what is the state triggered. So you can see the app inactive has been triggered. So right now the app is in the inactive state. So when I click on this application, it is actually resumed. So app resumed has been called. So let me minimize this to the icon. So Right now the app has been paused. Okay, let me click that. Okay, it went to inactive and then it went to resume state. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot demo the suspending state because it's decided by the OS when to actually suspend the application. So I'll not be doing that. So it's very important to understand the application states in a mobile application because you may need to save something when it goes to background and when it comes back from the background. So uh, maybe something you want to do when it is inactive. So it's very important. So that's all in this video. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Also, please leave your valuable comments below in the comment box. And thanks for watching.